Hi everyone, welcome to Family Recipe. My name's Ann and today we're at the farm picking blueberries so I can make lemon blueberry bread. So we just got home from our local farm with a whole bunch of blueberries that we're going to enjoy throughout the week, starting with a lemon blueberry bread. And this is my mother-in-law's recipe. And we're going to start with one and a half cups of flour. So we'll mix all the dry ingredients together first. One cup of sugar. Then you add a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of baking powder. I'm going to grab my whisk and we'll mix these all together. Next, we're gonna add our wet ingredients to the dry ingredients. So that starts with two eggs. We're also gonna add um, a third a cup of melted butter. And on your stick of butter, you'll see it's marked. So it's like a little bit over five tablespoons of butter. Always makes it delicious. And then we'll add half a cup of milk. And then I'll whisk that together. When I think of summer, I think of lemon and blueberry. They're quintessential flavors. You can also substitute in any other kind of berry that you like. So you could make a lemon raspberry bread, which I've done before, or even fresh cut strawberries. I wanted to share with you today a couple of handy kitchen tools that I love using. The first one is called a microplane. And basically, we're just gonna use this to zest our gigantic lemon. Um, so I'm just gonna hold it over a bowl. And honestly, I've seen people do it either way, where you can zest it this way and then kind of capture all the zest on top and then dump it in. But I just like holding it over a bowl and zesting it in. And then we'll measure out our two tablespoons of grated lemon zest. Like I said, this is an exceptionally large lemon. So I was able to get my full two tablespoons of grated lemon zest out of just this one. But if you have like normal sized lemons, you'll probably need two to get all the zest you need and the juice you need. So next we're gonna slice this in half and juice it. So I have this little citrus juicer, so it's kind of yellow and green, so you can use it for lemons or limes. I'm just gonna test this out, I, it's gigantic. I think I can fit it in there today, but I also wanted to show you um, a citrus reamer. This is just a very basic wooden tool. I bought this so I could juice oranges too by hand, but for a lemon this large, you could actually just use the citrus reamer too. Just do it over a bowl, catch the seeds, and then measure out how much juice you need for the recipe. And you wanna put the lemon in with like the flesh side down. And then you just squeeze really hard and it gets all the juice out and it catches the seeds inside for you. And again, giant lemon, lots of juice. So I think we're gonna be able to get all three tablespoons just out of this one. And that smells really good, nice and fresh. So I have my two tablespoons of lemon zest that I'm gonna add into the mix. And then I'm gonna measure out three tablespoons of fresh lemon juice. So there's one, two, and three, very juicy lemon, smells delicious. And then lastly, I have a heaping cup of our fresh blueberries. And you can definitely make this with frozen blueberries too, so it can be a year round kind of a bread. You could even use it as like a breakfast bread as opposed to just a snack or a dessert, um, really any time of year. So I'm gonna mix it all together. And a trick that I've heard of um, that you can do is sprinkle like a little bit of flour over your blueberries and it's supposed to help them from sinking to the bottom of the loaf pan. I don't always do that and I've honestly never had trouble with this recipe with the blueberries sinking, but if you find that that's a problem for you, um, that might help. So I've mixed it all together until everything's incorporated. I'm gonna grab my loaf pan. This is just a standard nine by five loaf pan that I sprayed with cooking spray. You could also butter it and then we're just gonna add the batter in. So my husband just told me the real story behind this lemon blueberry bread. I always thought it was his mom's recipe, um, but it turns out that when he was about five or six years old, his mom's friend came over and brought a loaf of this 
delectable bread as a present and he ate the entire thing in one sitting. So <laughs> his mom knew she had to get the recipe, but um, in any case, I'm glad she shared it with me. This is gonna go in my oven, which I preheated to 350 degrees um, for about 45 to 50 minutes. Definitely check it after like 40 or 45 minutes. Um, every oven is a little bit different, so you just wanna test it because you don't wanna over bake it. As a finishing touch to our lemon blueberry quick bread, which is baking in the oven right now, I'm gonna make a vanilla glaze to pour over top while it's still warm. Um, you could also make a lemon flavored glaze. So I have one cup of powdered sugar in a bowl, and for the liquid, you could either add um, one to two tablespoons of milk or one to two tablespoons of your leftover lemon juice, whichever you'd prefer. So start slow with the liquid. We'll kind of whisk it up and see where we are consistency wise, because it's incredible how little liquid you need for this to get pretty runny quick. So since this is a vanilla glaze today, the next liquid I'm gonna add is the vanilla extract. And we just need a tiny little bit, maybe a quarter of a teaspoon, just a little splash. And again, we'll mix that up. And you can see it's still, a little bit thick, I want it to be slightly runnier. So I'm gonna add just another splash of milk. So we're probably at about like a tablespoon and a half right now. Whisk that in. And it'll take a second for the powdered sugar to absorb the milk. But you can see that got it to a really nice consistency. My lemon blueberry bread baked for about 44 minutes in my oven. So I took it out and let it cool on a wire rack for about 20 minutes before I turn it out onto this plate. You might be able to see there's some little holes in the top of the bread. And when I took it out of the oven, I used this bamboo skewer. You could just use a toothpick to test to see if it was done. So when you put it inside, it should come out nice and clean without any like gooey, um, batter still on it. it means it's cooked through so what I decided to do was just poke a bunch of holes so that when we pour the glaze on it'll seep into the bread and make it really moist so we're just going to drizzle this over and if you want to make your glaze thicker so it's more like a frosting to spread it on top that's fine too whatever consistency you like I'm going to try a little piece of this bread just to make sure it tastes okay a little extra glaze on there, why not? Mmm, it is so moist. It's a really great quick bread recipe. Like I said, you can change out the fruit that you add into it. And the lemon is really potent. When you add lemon zest with the lemon juice, it has a really strong lemon flavor. That's why I prefer to just do the vanilla glaze. But if you wanna go for it, if lemon is your flavor, add the lemon juice, add some lemon zest into your glaze, you're gonna love it. I'm gonna eat the rest of this bread. Thank you for joining me for another family recipe and I'll see you again soon. For the full recipe, check the description box below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for joining me in my kitchen.